News for 16th of June, 2015. One Piece has officially won a Guinness World Record. Wow. The manga has set the record for most copies published for the same comic book series by a single author at 320 million. <laughs> 866,000 copies. Wow. That's a lot. That's yeah, sure a lot. The mega's author, oh, Ichiro Oda, mm -hmm. published an acknowledgement on his blog. Awesome. New visuals have been revealed for the new Dragon Ball Z series, Dragon Ball Super. Besides all the standard characters like Goku, Vegeta, Bulma, Piccolo, Krillin, and Trunks. Um, actually, let me see if I can pull up the image here real quick while I'm doing this. Um, the visual also shows, I believe they're called Weiss and Beerus from, there it is, uh, which are from one of the Dragon Ball movies. Hmm. Oh, actually from different Dragon Ball Z films. But the shocker is the image also shows two new characters who look similar to them. So we see in that shot uh, characters who are Quite similar to those original characters, but are mm. some variations on the characters. Very interesting. A variation on a theme. Yeah. Um, so apparently pulling in characters from the movies for the new TV series. The show is still planning to premiere July 5th in Japan. Let's see. Studio Ghibli's latest movie, When Marnie Was There, mm -hmm. earned $77,000 last week. Only 77000 Yeah. Wow. Well, it's a limited release. A limited release. Yeah. Uh, in its three weeks in theaters, it now grossed $186,000. The film will be opening in even more theaters over the coming weeks. Please check your local listings. Definitely. And show up. Yeah. <laughs> it's not I'd like showing, to see that. Is it, it showing in, um, in our DC. neighborhood? Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I got to check that out. Yeah. If you want more creepy horror in your life, oh, yeah. look no further than the forthcoming anime series from ILCA. That's the studio behind Yamishibai, Japanese Ghost Stories, and the CGI, CGI on Love Live. Mm. Uh, Kurayami Santa is set in Kyushu in the 1960s, and it's actually made to look like a black and white anime series from cool. the 1960s. Yeah, isn't that amazing? <laughs> the show centers on a demon boy who maintains the barrier between hell and the human world. The second horror series, Koabon, will be made entirely with rotoscoped CGI. So they're actually, they're actually filming actors and then putting CGI on top of it. And its stated theme is, quote, bondage and stylish horror, end Ooh, quote. That sounds creepy. No kidding. Got to check that out. Now, a follow-up story from last week in which Chinese Ministry of Culture blacklisted a number of anime franchises in China. Attack on Titan was one of them. And a screening of Attack on Titan planned for last weekend was canceled. Yep. The screening was part of the Japan Film Week event at Shanghai International Film Festival. Yep, so it certainly is going into effect. Oh my, those Chinese <laughs> uh, censor one thing but then pull down our government. Mm, <laughs> What's oh going on here? Pretty scary. Okay. Alright, so moving on to anime conventions. Uh, BotCon is this weekend in uh, at the Pheasant Run Resort in St. Charles, Illinois. It's a Transformers themed convention that's been running since 1994. So quite a long time, two Ooh. decades. Wow. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty big. So if, if you like Transformers and you get to the uh, Illinois area, head on out there. Cosplay Con, June 18th through 21st at Capitol Plaza Hotel. And mm -hmm. that's uh, Jefferson City, Montana? Is that um, Missouri, Missouri? I think. I think it's Missouri. Missouri? I'm not sure. Hmm. Jefferson City, Missouri. I think it's Missouri. Missouri. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Yeah, it's a, a con for cosplay. Uh, should 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 yield some interesting photos. Definitely. Yeah, keep an eye out for that. Um, Anime Mid Atlantic uh, is this weekend at the Chesapeake Conven Conference Center in Chesapeake, Virginia. It's been running, running since two thousand one. Pretty big con. Guests include Chris Kason, voice actor, director, and writer at Funimation. Uh, Charles Dunbar, an anime anthropologist. Amy Howard Wilson, the voice actress, and uh, Danielle McRae, Vic Mignogna, um, uh, both voice actors. Yeah, it's Vic. And uh, Renny Mimura, the singer, will be there as well. Hmm. Ayukan will be occurring at West Cal Event Center, Sulphur, LA. That's Louisiana. That's Louisiana. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> La. <laughs> uh, Sulphur La. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Guests are the D20 Girls Project, uh, gamers. Uh, Todd Habercorn is going to be there. He's a voice mm -hmm. actor. Mm -hmm. And Sonia Thompson. Cool. Uh, QCon. 
uh, moving us out of the U.S. for a bit. Uh, QCon will be held at Queen's University Belfast in uh, Belfast, <laughs> North you, Ireland, UK. In, in the U.K. this weekend. So if you're in the, uh, the, Irish, the, the Irish area, have enough to QCon, why don't you? <laughs> Sodak. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Sodak. Rushmore Plaza Civic Center. In Rapid City. South Dakota. Sodak. So Dak. Yeah. Oh, took me a while to figure it out. South, oh, that's Dakota. South Dakota. So Dak. Oh, okay. Uh, sneaky. Ha -ha. Mm -hmm. They worked that in there. Yeah. Who, who's going to be there is Chris Bevins. Mm -hmm. And he's, wow, he does all sorts of things. Voice yeah. acting, directing, line producer, and Funimation. Cool. Entertainment guy. Mm. Uh, Carl Martin, cosplayer, Shinka Studios. Mm -hmm. uh, Wendy Powell, voice actress. Uh, Tom Rash, artist. And Rachel Robinson, are go is going to be featured there as well. Awesome. In the Supernova Pop Culture Expo Sydney, three guesses where that's going to be, uh, the Sydney Olympic Park in Sydney, New South, Wales, New South Wales, Australia, been going since 2001. Oh. Guests include uh, Adam Baldwin. Yes, that Adam Baldwin. Uh, Kristen Bauer, Van Straten, Nathan Fillion, that Nathan Fillion, <laughs> um, Dean Haglund, Walter E. Jones, um, uh, Austin St. John, Eric Stewart, uh, and Veronica Taylor. So an, a nice wide variety of folks there. But they're also pretty anime-focused as well. No worries, mate. Yep. Fiera um, Mundo Anime, Santo Domingo, mm. June 20th through 21st at uh, Central Cultural Mauricio, Mauricio Baez. Looks like. And Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Yeah. Wow. And, yeah, I wonder what that's going to be like. No kidding. And then uh, finally, um, I think it's going to be not Vai Mai Kai. In Burgerhaus Castle, Weisbaden, Germany. So if you're heading out to, uh, if, you, if you're in that the. sounds the, like a castle. It sure does. <laughs> We're going to have an anime fest in a castle. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> Pretty cool. cool. This yeah. weekend in, um, uh, again, in, in, in Weisbaden, Germany. So head on up there. Uh, moving on to Kickstarters for. Um, why, why is that not. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Kickstarters for Kickstarters. the week. The first one would probably be mine, actually. Yes. Um, so we launched the Otaku Brain uh, today, actually. This is a Kickstarter for a convention that I'll be running in February, assuming we get all of the funding for it. We're asking for uh, just over $5,000 to fund the convention, and it's going to be a panel-focused convention uh, of um, academics and others who are coming to talk about interesting things about uh, anime and manga. So head over to Kickstarter, look for Otaku Brain Trust, and uh, $35 gets you a badge. Um, lower uh, support levels gets you access to videos. All the panels will be video recorded and, and provided online, thanks to this guy. And recommend it to a friend. Recommend it to a friend. Uh, <laughs> post it out to social media as much as you can because this is a chance to actually do a um, uh, an anime convention focused on you know sort of intellectual analysis of anime and actually get that kind of stuff. Plus, up. you can be ground level entry. Right. First year of a con. Yeah. Imagine imagine doing that. 20 years from now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also I went to the first one. Right. It's also kind of the um, Otaku no Video slash Smoke and Mirrors um, um, meetup. You know, so if, if you want to meet me in person, that's a great, great chance. Uh, uh, both of us will, yeah. will be there. So that'd be a pretty good thing. Um, other Kickstarters, Asterion mm -hmm. is a new one that came up this week. Pollux Animation, a French animation studio, mm -hmm. has launched a Kickstarter for a French-Japanese co-production of a 13-episode anime series. Hmm. They're looking to raise about $151,000 by the end of July, so it's a good ways away. They plan to make an interactive anime series, so to speak. Interactive. Each episode will include three decision points. And based on the viewer's cool. choices, yeah, the story will go in different ways. Uh, kind of like a visual novel. Choose your own adventure. Yeah. The character designer and chief animator, Hiroshi Shimizu, worked on Michiko and Hachin and the Lupin the Third Fujiko Mine series. The director of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and the art director for Berserk, The Castle of Cagliostro, Nadam Kantabil, and Utna are also involved in various roles. So that is, again, Asterion, the Kickstarter. Anime Monthly. Mm. Uh, the poor Anime Monthly Kickstarter is still only $3 mm. out of its $2,000 that it wants to produce the anime magazine. Yeah. Three days to go on that one. Oh, boy. Uh, here's hoping. Yeah. Um, Animago's Kickstarter for Otaku no Video, again, the actual animation, um, is now at $79,000 as of this recording. That's double its goal with two weeks still remaining. 
So that's cool. Uh, 25 bucks gets you the Blu-ray shipped anywhere in the world except Japan. Again, Otaku no Video. Hmm, anywhere except Japan. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Inform Otaku. Yeah. The Inform Otaku Kickstarter is... Let's see. To get more convention coverage is still only $5. Hmm. Uh, out of its goal of eighteen hundred dollars, again the entire pitch is I can upload more videos from conventions like this one if I can get funded to get proper equipment. Twenty six days to go on that one. Oh boy, that's a tough one. Uh, moving on to anime releases. Um, oh yeah, so releases, releases. Yay. yay! So Pony Canyon USA has released Yuki Yuna is a Hero Collector's Edition Two. This is four episodes on Blu-ray DVD combo for. Eighty nine ninety eight, about ninety dollars again. That's MSRP, so it'll be quite lower than that online. Hmm. Disney has Spirited Away mm. Blu Ray and DVD combo for thirty six ninety nine. Cool. They also have Cat Returns on Blu Ray and DVD DVD combo for the same price thirty six ninety nine. Nice for those keeping uh, track at home. The Cat Returns is kind of a sequel to um, Whisper of the Heart, the mm. earlier Studio Ghibli films. If you've seen that. Check out Cat the Cat Returns. Funimation has released Is This a Zombie of the Dead Complete Collection. <laughs> this is the second This is the um, uh, second season of the Is, is This a Zombie. Blu-ray DVD uh, combo pack, anime classic. 12 episodes, $49.98. So be, be, probably about 30 35 bucks uh, retail. Sentai Filmworks. Captain Earth. Collection 1 DVD, 13 episodes. Nice. Subtitled. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. And that's uh, for forty nine ninety eight. Cool. And they're also they've also come out with the Blu ray version. Nice. And that's uh, fifty nine ninety eight. Oh, ten bucks. Uh, ten more. bucks more. Yeah, yeah. Might as well if you have a Blu ray player. Exactly. Not too bad. <laughs> Not too bad. Cool. Um, yep. So that is all the anime this week. Thanks as always to the DVD, DVD Talk Forum for anime releases. Kickstarter for the Kickstarters. Uh, AnimeCons.com for the conventions and Anime News Network for all of the anime news. And that is it for Horizons. Thank you all very much. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, dun. Again, we need some kind of, uh, you know, exit music at some point. <laughs> right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Shuffle at some point, paper. I think, shuffle paper. They think we just take two sheets and just, you know, flip them back and forth and back and forth. <laughs>